It was a family fun day at the Kisi Women's Prison, which also served as a soul-searching forum for the inmates. And as our reporter Fred Motori now tells us, many of the women there are serving jail terms for practicing female genital mutilation. <laughs> It was song and dance for these women as they freely mingled with their families. A bigger number of those who are behind bars here are women jailed for practicing circumcision and peddling illicit brew. Janet Chepkoril is serving a three-year sentence for practicing circumcision, but she regrets her actions. She says many of the women who were jailed for engaging in FGM, some of them being very old, had ignored government anti-FGM awareness programs. They now vow to be anti-FGM ambassadors. <laughs> Joseph Simba traveled all the way from Kimindet ward in Kilgoris constituency to pay her sister a visit in jail. Africa <laughs> Miriam Chelengat says uncircumcised women in her community bear a social stigma. She bowed to the pressure of her community, but she could not escape the long arm of the law. Sixty-one year old Anne Soy's daughter was also jailed for practicing FGM, but she said that back home women of her age have resorted to alternative means of putting food on their table. <laughs> And according to the prison's commander, Yunis Odiambo, the anti FGM war is taking shape since most of those jailed for the crime have turned to be good ambassadors out there. Fred Moturi, KTN News.